Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Toasted Synapse from TSGaming.net with another first impressions video. Today we will be taking a look at Ripped or Rest in Peace Department, the game. Hmm, yes, this is an, uh, a game by Old School Games and it's published by Atlas, now on Steam for $10. Uh, it's basically the game version of, of uh, Rest in Peace Department, the action adventure film by Universal, starring Jeff Bridges and Ryan Reynolds. And yeah, it can be played co op. I'll get to that in a sec. Uh, you basically have to protect the living from various souls, so this is from the Steam page. You have to protect the living from the various souls that refuse to pass on peacefully. Um, but let's be honest, this game is mainly for the fans of the movie um, that comes out on the 18th of this month. And the, of this month, uh, the game came up on the, uh, came out on the 16th. So yeah, marketing for for hype. I don't know. It's uh, we'll take a look at the gameplay so you know what you would expect if you plan on buying the game. It's probably a cash-in game that. If you think about it, it costs as much as the movie, so I understand why some people would buy it. Now, old school games are the ones that made God Mode, not a very good game to say the least. And if you look closely, really, really closely, I'm just kidding, you can clearly see that this game is a reskin of God Mode. So yeah, I don't know. God Mode came out three months ago, I believe. So I guess they heard this game out to cash in some bucks. Uh, we'll take a look at the options right here. Uh, yeah, how to play. Uh, <clears throat> so you have to protect the living from the various souls that refuse to pass on peacefully. It is a horde mode game. That's essentially what it is because that's essentially what God Mode was. And yeah, you have your hint, subtitles, whatever. We'll have the subtitles on, I, I, but I don't think uh, we'll be needing them. Video options, they do have a good amount of video options, let, let's be honest. So yeah, I give them that. Audio, pretty simple over here. Uh, controls, rebindable controls, that's always good. Sensitivity is a little high, so I'll crank it down a little bit. Alright, controller, and yeah, that's basically it. Let's get into a custom match, because that's what I can do. And I didn't want to start with gameplay, because that not much gameplay in it. Now, we have uh, Jeff Bridges over here, and how the heck do I change my character? Page up, page down. A difficulty, Roy, uh, character. And Nick, Ryan Reynolds, they don't look so good, but hey, they did their best, I guess, with the reskinning. Okay, so Myth Lab, The Vault. Bacon Station, everybody likes, uh, so there there are some levels, although not as many levels as you would expect. We'll go for the station, okay. Now, weapons, as far as weapons go, this is what you have. You need to unlock them by buying with the in-game cash. Don't have any in-game cash at the moment, but uh, there is, I can't believe I'm going to say that there is replayability in this game. So you can come back and uh, do the levels again with better weapons. Yeah, but why would you want to do the same levels over and over again? There aren't particularly good weapons. I don't know, I'll just let you see the gameplay because that, that's basically it. You know, this is the the secondary. The banana and the hair, hair dryer, I don't know you you were looking at that. Um, it's basically um, 
a special weapon ties into the lore of the series because they did work with uh, Universal, God knows, Epic ga uh, old school games, what the hell. Uh, so there is multiplier, bulletproof vest, help, whatever, I don't know. We'll, we'll just get to the, the gameplay because I, I just want to show you. Uh, so you can bet uh, with uh, your co-op partner. Now, God Mode had four people in co-op, this one only has two, so if you have some friends that are fans of the movie, I guess you only need one friend for this game. Okay. So. The movement is kind of awful. Spaces to uh, jump like that, to, to dodge, one would assume, and scroll around to get the various weapons. Horde mode, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. There, there is a a bogey over there. Oh, there is this, this is this very annoying blur. So, as you kind of expect from the first... That guy is coming at me with a plunger. As you kind of expect from the first seconds of the game, the combat is not that interesting. There we go. On the top part of the screen you have your challenge mode, meter, whatever. As it fills up... There you go, some melee attack. As it fills up, you get some various bonuses, but... They're not particularly interesting. Let's kill that chick, and... Got a critical with melee attack. This is it! What, you were expecting something more, guys? No, this is it! This is basically it. This is the game. New challenge has been added. Okay, so randomly generated challenges. There aren't that many. Uh, killed 10 enemies in one minute. I kind of missed, but hey, the aiming is bad. I do also... Oh, there's a grenade. Can't tell where the grenade is at. Hey, it took that grenade about 20 seconds to explode. The reloading is really bad. The camera angle is kind of bad. And... Whoa, you don't die in this game. Apparently, they all wait for you to kill yourself. Uh, that probably ties into the lore. Okay, let's take a look at the controls, see if we're missing out on something. Focus aim, yes, use objectives. <laughs> it doesn't even pause when I... Okay, usability, sprint. Uh, sprint is space. That Sprint is not space, that's dodge, but whatever. Uh, okay, let's kill ourselves. Oh, we're already dead. Okay, so these guys just are here. Okay, we have a healer, one would assume. Let's actually try right mouse button. Focus aim, which totally screws with your camera. This game is kind of unplayable. Uh, can I get you? Okay, let's use the number one ability. The bacon ability. Okay, so I got the bacon ability. I'm kind of missing those guys. It's not because I'm bad at the game. It's because aiming is... Oh my god, it's so difficult. You won't believe. Actually, let me change my DPI on my mouse. Maybe that's better. Okay, I already need to reload. There you go. Apparently one headshot does not take them out. You need about half a clip. Dodge into his face and ka 
missed it. Hello. Goodbye. Oh my. <clears throat> Number two ability. Let, let's do that. Why, why the hell not? Let me, let me show you what it has to do. Okay, so I chained them. Great. Fun times, right? This game is fun. So I can sprint with shift. No, I cannot sprint with shift. This is my running animation. Which is really bad. Hey. If you want to make some uh, money of the fans of the movie, I guess you have to start somewhere. Encounter one complete. So yeah. Time for some cool stuff to happen, right? Nope, encounter, encounter 2 has started. Can I go up here? No. Why? Because the level ends. This is basically the whole level. There are how many levels uh, I showed you in the menu? Were there five? Five, six levels? This is a little jankiness with the camera, as you can see. This guy with the car door, that chick. Oh, I got a guy behind me. No problem. No health system. Let's plant a turret over here. I'm assuming that's what ability 3 is. And some bacon. That chick didn't die. Is my turret doing anything? I'm trying to look at the guys in front. Nope, my turret isn't doing anything. I'm gonna go to my turret. Is that a turret or a pickup? Can I pick this up? Nope. I cannot pick that up. I can't even go on the rails, so yeah, the level is cut into half. Uh, this is basically the whole level. Look at it. Seriously. You can't even go down there, I think. I'm assuming. Yep, so this is an illusion. You can't go over there. This is basically the whole level. I can't freaking believe it. Yeah, critical, but he didn't die. Let's use this thing again. Nope. Look at it. Doesn't do anything. I try to pick it up. I can't. Seriously, what the hell? <clears throat> this is what this first impressions series is about, guys. Still, the APM on my mouse. Make it even. Maybe it helps. I don't know. This is what the First Impressions series is about, guys. Letting you guys know not to buy this. I mean, even if, even if considering, yeah, it's, it's a $10 game, game, right? It's basically an indie-ish, indie, yeah, we'll call it an indie development house. There we go, kind of hard to aim. Bacon? Does it heal me? I think Bacon heals me. Hello. A nice camera we have over here. <sighs> this series is intended for you to see what the heck the games are about and to make an educated choice whether or not to freaking buy them. And I'm telling you, I wouldn't recommend this to anybody. Seriously. Hello? Yeah, it kind of takes like forever to recharge. Okay. Thank you. It would be nice if you could at least pick up the weapons that they dropped. I mean, it would make sense. Oh, the the turret guns even there. How would they add an ability? Seriously. Oh, here's an idea as developers. Let's add an ability with the turret gun. But Mike, Mike, we we didn't add that into the engine. We we can't place a turret down. Doesn't matter, man. It, it, it isn't supposed to do anything. Let's just have it stay there and not do anything. Don't you think people would notice that and be like mad? Nah. How the heck do they... There's a grenade. It's okay. I have like 2,000 minutes to get out of the way. By dodging, I, I guess I become... Whoa! Lady, you're kind of agile. Let's take her out. Okay, a healer spawned. I'm assuming that's a healer. 
And no, it could be anything in this game. It could actually heal them, but not heal them at the same time, just like the turret. Let's use ability 4. Ability 4! I am... Um... Something. I'm sure this ties into, into the lore. No, you didn't die? Okay. There we go. I'm an illusion, my friend. This guy doesn't seem phased. How would you get so many car doors? And the last ability, I don't know. Should I use it? Should I spend some more time in this game? I don't know. I'm... <sighs> Encounter 3. And you basically have to spend about 20 minutes in each level or something like that, I'm assuming. What I've heard. To finish it. Hello. Let's uh, melee this. Okay, melee doesn't actually move me forward, so I have to be right in front of him to use my melee. Right, that makes a lot of sense. A chick dodged. And we have these guys. Now I'm not gonna play the turret because it doesn't do anything. Can you please switch the damn weapon? I'm dead. I know pickups, there's nothing, man. If you like Jeff Bridges that much, but I don't think that's the case. Not even Jeff Bridges can save this game. I don't know if the movie's good, but hurt. Their reviews were kind of me mediocre, so I don't know. I'm not dealing with movies. So yeah. Old school games. What have you done? What the heck is this? Capture. Oh, there's a capture point mechanic. Well, you didn't even say that I have to do this. What the heck? No? Capture, isn't it? Captured. What the heck is going on? Yes, I'm dead in the game. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? Those are the capture objectives. Jeff Bridges. Kill some bitches. Hello. That guy with the plunger again. Switch the damn weapons. You can't dodge and switch at the same time because it will not remember your command. Kind of want to use the ult, but hey, there's a grenade, doesn't really matter because I can move out of the way. Make it really obvious where a grenade is. This guy is kind of difficult, so I'm going to capture this point. Instantly heals me when I get into it. Like I, I'm I, I'm honestly press, uh, pressing right uh, left mouse button uh, like now. I just pressed it like for three or four seconds before it actually shot. Do not reward these guys with your money, for God's sake. Oh, I almost got my ult. I can't believe I'm actually plunger dude. Evaporated. Because they were too lazy to do the death animation, I don't know. And I'm out of bullets. One more, yes. Is this the six ability? Let's do it. Six, five. Can't count. Okay. Impaled into spikes. Guess we can capture the point. But I do get some bullets, I'm assuming. Those are pickups for bullets. Oh, and this is a challenge. This is not the final thing. This is not the... Nope. I don't have to do this. This is just an optional challenge that will, I assume, get me the that in-game currency that lets me buy more weapons. I don't know. I'm just gonna pop a heal. Is this working? Looks like it's failed. Yeah, it looks like I failed the challenge. And this game failed! Oh my god, please do not buy it. <laughs> but don't dislike the video just because you dislike the game. 
I'm just bringing you, uh, you guys stuff. That's all, so you can... So you know what you're getting yourself into. Oh my god. Please do check the annotations at the end. And subscribe if you haven't and if you like the content, of course. Give me a like and a fave. And yeah. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Toasted Synapse from TSGaming.net. I'm signing out.